Hey guys, uh, yesterday I, I put up a video called in A Place Beyond Grace and I talked about how God wants us to get beyond living just in the realm of grace, how he has more for us. Um, and today, as I was watching, uh, preaching on YouTube, something hit me. Um, the preacher was talking about being comfortable in our, our dysfunction, and he was talking about the, the man in Mark who, um, when Jesus was preaching, stood up and, and uh, confronted Jesus and Jesus cast the demon out and he went to dysfunction on a personal level um, and said dysfunction um, sometimes can be comfortable and how God wants us to come out of that comfor comfortable um, comfortability I didn't say that right but forgive me um, but as I was watching him pre, as I was watching this sermon, um, I began to think uh, of the church, of the body of Christ in general, and I began to think how um, we become as a body, whether you're Catholic, whether you're Methodist, whether you're Pentecostal, whether you're United, whatever denomination you are, we become so normalized in our routine that um, that God is not moving the way He wants to. I believe because um, we say, well, you can move during this time and this time but don't go after this time and I think I think I think that Satan so lulls us to sleep even in the church that God wants to do so much but we're not letting him do so much because we we have our routine we have our um some churches have um this some churches have themes for the month every month every year and I'm not saying that's valid that's not valid excuse me but I'm saying that we need to get out of our routines in church and let God just be God and if we if we let God actually take control I believe that we would see healings, restorations by the millions. But I think that we're, because as, as humans, we are comfortable with routine. But I think sometimes the routine of church, whatever church you go to, is killing us. There are, there is new revelation that God wants to give us. But we are so comfortable in church routine that that God can't move. Because I always say this, God is a gentleman. He will never do what, what we don't allow him to do. And it's funny <laughs> because we, uh, um, churches I've been to anyway, um, pray every Sunday or Saturday, Lord, have your way. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. But what we really mean is, Lord, have your way, but in our routine. N never take us past that. Never do something different. Ne like, just give us a word so we can be comfortable. Um, in our dysfunction as a church, in our dysfunction personally. And God wants to do so much more than what we are letting him do. Um, it makes me think of the story 
um, Samson and Delilah. Um, it's in it's in Judges, I believe, sixteen, uh, where Samson had a call from God, but he let his lust for a woman, Delilah, overtake his judgment. And sometimes when you are dealing with a temptation or when you're dealing with um, something like lust, or whether it be lust for money, lust for um, power, lust for sex, it can take over and Samson began to get comfortable with Delilah. He got so comfortable that every day she would ask, what's the key to your strength? Honey, I just want to know that. And you don't trust me. So he, and she's like, oh, you don't trust me? Come on, honey, I just want to know. And then he got so comfortable with her that one day he told her, it's my hair. Because what um, comfort does is kind of lull you into a false sense of security. And a false sense of, is, I'm okay. We could just sing a few worship songs. We could stand and and hear the sermon, hear the homily, do a bunch of things. And if our church does it, we can dance and run around and we can receive the word, but not really do anything about it. Well, our world is going to hell in a handbasket and we have the answers. I was thinking of something really, um, really out of the box. I was thinking of what if, what if we didn't have church one Sunday and instead we went out and meet the needs of the community. And I'm not saying, um, in a special team, and a special team does that, and, and we just come to church. I'm saying everyone in that church, and I'm not saying just once in a while. I'm just saying, I'm saying make it a habit to just minister to the needs of the people because there, there are people out there that really need to hear the love of Jesus that really need to hear that Jesus loves them, that really need to hear that Jesus died for them. They're dying on drugs, they're dying of STDs, they're dying with violence, they're dying in lifestyles of homosexuality, promiscuity, lying, um, all these kind of things, and they're dealing with addictions, and we have the answers, but we're too lazy and two, stuck in our little churchologies to understand that time is short and we need to get to the people. And I think we need to, churches and pastors need to get out of their comfort zones, out of what they think is church and really hear God on what he wants to do with their certain house with their certain church house, how he wants to move and how he wants to do things. Because I think if we, um, if we were to really do that, we would see lasting change. I, I tend to think that people don't really want to come to the church, but they want the church to come to them. And if we can find a way for the church to come to them, that will be the, the catalyst for God to move. I think we need to get out of our buildings, out of our pretty little, little boxes of who we think church is and really, of what we think church is, and really let God move. 
So basically, we need to we need to get uncomfortable with comfort. I'll see you later, you guys. Take care. Bye.